Hey my friend, it's Danny Forts with the Rejection Free Formula. No calling, no chasing, no convincing. And in this video, I'm sure you already know, it's about creating custom YouTube thumbnails. There's definitely a more, um, uh, gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's another tutorial by James Wedmore and I'll put it in the um, you know description section. Uh, if you really want to get in depth, and he goes, you know, he goes a little bit, a lot more in depth than I do. But I wanted to make it even uh, simpler and uh, show you just a couple of tricks uh, as well, maybe a different perspective. And then, you know, plus he has a Mac, so if you don't have a Mac um, and you're trying to do some of these, it may be uh, a little bit tougher. So I just tried to, you know, do my part and make it just a little bit easier. So um, let's start here. There's this. Um, YouTube Slicer is this, um, you know, this this app basically that creates uh, thumbnails for you, and they have a bunch of cool ones. Um, I haven't bought this product, but I've seen it around the internet. It's just because you know I know how to make, um, you know, I know how to make thumbnails. But definitely, you know, if you if you're making a lot of thumbnails because you're making a lot of videos, then this may be something you want to invest in. However, let's just move um, along. Even on, uh, actually, it's because watching this video, I, I learned um, a little bit about uh, this, this tool here, which is called Clipping Magic, okay? And what happens with this is it removes all the backgrounds um, from your images. So when you want to, um, let's, let's do this. Let me just go find the, let me just find the, image that I was looking for um, okay so this is the, this is the image which you already saw and you basically just drop and drag and drop it right into the program and you can see that um, you know this it's green so you wanna basically just draw a line in the area that you wanna save okay that you don't wanna delete and literally it's just you know so once you do that it's basically gonna protect that area now you go over here and you hit the red part, and this is the part you, the areas you want to delete. And so it just goes around and g deletes everything, you know, in the areas that you want to delete. Now obviously down here you see like this area, um, it didn't get, but I'm going to, you can see like obviously because over here it's, yeah, it's still there. So what you do is you come over here and same thing, you just click and it gets rid of, that area there and the same thing here you just do the same thing you click here and as you can see it gets rid of all the um, gray there now one of the things you can can also do is you can um, zoom in uh, you can zoom in more and then also let's do let me back out of this a little bit uh, because down here it kind of missed a little part but I'm not going to even need that part anyway so this is just, you know, again, really simple, cool tool to use. And then again, you just can download the picture um, and you download it to whether it's your desktop or whatever. So I downloaded it here um, and then you could either leave it on your desktop or what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this right in there. And you can see that it's this one because it doesn't have like the border and stuff. So. So that's quick there. I'm going to delete this. Ooh, let's move that one in the trash. All right. So that's that. We got our we got our background, okay? So I'm going to open that image which was this one. I was going to use the thumb for the thumbnail, but it didn't work, quite work out that way. And here's the easy part that I'm talking about. Um if you go to dannyforts.com forward slash blog there'll be something trust me it'll be either uh, a box that looks something like this here but basically I'm going to give you a couple pieces to work with I'm going to give you a disco background just like they had on theirs I'm going to give you this kind of YouTube layer so it shows the controls of the actual YouTube video and I'm going to give you a YouTube um, uh, you know logo graphic so, and the reason being is you're going to see right now in this video. So, uh, let me just get back to work here. So, I'm going to open, um, let's see, just like I said, I'm going to give you, you'll have something that says like YT download, okay, and I'm just going to grab, I'm just going to upload all of these right now. So, one, two, three, okay. So, um, thumbnail, for instance, 
I'm going to just start a new image that's going to be this, these dimensions here, 533 by 324. 533 by 324 is the height. And you definitely want to hit transparent here, okay? Because then you'll have like the whole checkerboard background thing going on, okay? And these work in layers. So I'm going to layer all this. Let's start with the actual background first. And I'm just going to copy this. You just click right here. And then you just copy this area. And then you paste here. And now if you wanted to put some color like I'm going to do right now, here's the thing you can do. You can add another layer. Okay. And you can see how it added another layer here. And this layer will be below. Okay. But what you do is you can come over here and you're going to click on a blue color. Let's go find a kind of, let's go get a better blue than that. I guess that's cool. Okay, so we're gonna grab the paint here and we're gonna, whoop. Okay, so now the layer on top now is blue. See the color here, blue? But if we put the disco layer on top, you get the disco layer. Well, the disco layer, we can actually change the opacity so it's partly so some of the color comes through so if you change that to yellow if you change it to red and by doing this you can if if you want these different backgrounds you can always just save this one background in pixlr and always have this background ready to go so that's why that's why it's easy for me to make my thumbnails they're already made i just go back in and change some of the text so i can show you how to do that as well so, um, so we got our, 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 you know, our color layer there or the background basically. Now I'm going to come grab the, you know, the YouTube, um, I guess you would call it control. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste this right on top. See, now that's there on top. Now I want to get the picture of me. I'm not going to use my whole entire picture. I'm just going to use part of it. So same thing. I'm just going to copy this area here. Keep it rejection freestyle. Okay, um, I'm gonna make a new layer and let's put this below the, I put the layer below the control layer and I'll show you why in a second. If I move this around, let me just show you this. If I'm moving this around, but if this one was on top like this, see how it's on top of the control layer. So that's why I did that and so it doesn't matter which order that you do it it's just the fact that you just do it so I'm going to free transform this to make this smaller a lot smaller I'm gonna tuck this guy's big head and face over here in the corner try to get some decent sized proportion there and if you want you can put the glow which I like to do so you know you, you hit this layer style button right here make sure you're on the right layer that you want to give the glow to you hit outer glow you also you check the box and then you click on it here and then you turn up the hardness and you turn up the size you can see that it's this color but we're gonna change that to white which is just all F's um, and that's that I'm, I'm not gonna get too picky with all of that um, that's pretty straightforward. So now um, I can actually get rid of this control layer or you can actually save it, whatever you want to do. Um, but I'm going to save the whole image off anyway in Pixlr because that's just what I do and I'll always have this as something I can use later. But I'm going to get rid of it right now. Um, so now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab this YouTube trademark. You know, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to get rid of this and then I'm just going to paste this here again, edit free transform and I'm just going to make this smaller to put over here somewhere. Okay. And that's that. Cause you know, we're going to have text above that says, you know, create, what did I got over here? Um, I want to apply the changes, create custom thumbnails. So I just have to make sure I have enough room to put that there. So create custom thumbnails. Just gonna move this up a little more to give me definitely enough room. Okay, see how that works? Nice, simple, and easy. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna actually save this off as 
almost done. Almost done. Whoops. Almost done one. I'm going to save it as a PNG. I don't think it really matters what you're going to, if you save it as a JPEG or whatever else. So you can save it to your desktop. I'm just going to save it in my YouTube download folder anyway. Okay. And next thing we're going to go back to, we got to open a new window and go to Pixar again. I'm going to show you why here in one second. Now I could just stay over here and just add layers of text. I could, I could actually sit here and you know, create custom, whoop, create, whoops, let's make them all, okay. I could sit here and fiddle around with this, but the reason why I'm showing you, I mean, you already know how to do this from some of my other, um, you know, tutorials, and I could literally sit here and try to find a cool looking font. However, um, I just wanted to show you something else about Pixlr, now that we're doing it is this Pixar Express. So you click on there and this is should open up. And I'm going to hit browse and I'm going to get this almost done picture. And I know this is an, a kind of an extra step, but um you go to type and you have all these different fonts here and within them th these are pretty cool fonts. This is a hand handwritten one. And I can go over here and then I got all these extra fonts as well. And these fonts, you're not going to, you'll find some of these in, in the regular picture, but for some reason they don't have these over on, you know, on the online editor versus the, um, express. So I don't know why, but anyway, um, here's what you do. You just go over here and you click, um, create custom and I'm going to put this over here. And I gotta obviously let's go create custom from okay. Well I gotta make a little bit more room, so gotta do one more. And that that gives it definitely plenty of room. And if you want to center this, you just kind of have to play around with the text. So I don't know, I think I like that better. And if you really um are anal about it. If you're really anal about it, what you could do is just go back to, um, you could go back to Pixar and move the YouTube around if you want and then resave it and do it. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Then you go over here, you can hit apply. You can change your color of your text here. This is, there's a lot of cool things you can do with Pixar. That's why I like using it. Um, you know, you don't have to have like expensive software like, uh, you know, Adobe Photoshop and all the other stuff and even GIMP is you know a little bit more difficult to use in Pixar I, I just like it so um, so now I'm just gonna save this I'm gonna save this as almost done too. save and I'm gonna save it to the same place so now when I go back to um, Pixar I'm pretty much done that's like my um, and then I can sit there and upload it onto YouTube which I'm gonna have to pause this video to do cuz uh you know <laughs> I haven't finished filming all the video for it. So all right guys, so now it's time to uh, load up your custom thumbnail. So I'm just gonna go to YouTube. You're gonna go over here. You're gonna go to your video manager. And what I've already done is I've already uploaded um, the actual video. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here and edit for whichever video you're using your thumbnail for. And as you can see here, uh, here's the the icon for the custom thumbnail. So I just click on that right there. And actually, just so you know too, when you um, if you're on your other videos, I don't know why it's not doing it right now, but when you hover over it, as you, ah, there it is. So it even gives you the suggested size and also, you know, um, explains what formats. And so the max file size is two megabytes, but I mean, there's almost, I don't even know how you'd reach out. You would have to be doing some crazy level graphic stuff to, to get it to be um, that large of a file. So anyway, you hit custom thumbnail. Okay. And we're going to go down to, and I'm going to get, whoops, wrong one. still the wrong one. I gotta find out which uh, one I have this in. Um, 
I know I did it, guys. Ah, there it is. Okay. So this one right here. I'm going to upload that, and as you can see, it's already uploaded. So if you haven't subscribed uh, to this channel, please do so. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. I would appreciate it. Have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you soon.